Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. So we're continuing our summer 2023 boating adventures. Uh, in the last video, we were just leaving Lund, the marina down here in Lund that we had stayed at for a while while we put our RV and truck in storage for a while. And the first leg of our journey saw us cruise up the coast here through this Copeland Marine Park. Don't really have any footage of there. It's very pretty. Um, I got a little bit of shots from uh, Squirrel Cove. We went in there. Basically, it's a nice sheltered anchorage on Cortez Island. So we went in there just for future reference to check things out. And they actually saw a boat that was half sunk. Bad day for them. And there was the Sito boat was on site. So I have a little footage of that. And then we cruised up this channel. Right up here, Lewis Channel, just a little shot of that as we cruised up there. Our destination was this Von Donop, Von Donop Marine Provincial Park. I think it's pronounced, uh, the native name there is Athaeum. Athaeum. Anyway, it's, a, it's another protected anchorage on this Cortez Island or the Discovery Islands. And you go down this long channel here, kind of a narrow entrance. I have some uh, footage of us going through here. There's a very narrow section there. And there's kind of a big rock you have to kind of avoid as you go in. Anyway, we moseyed on down here. Um, over here, there is a uh, kind of a lagoon that you can only access at just the right tides. And uh, it's supposed to be really pretty, but we never got in. We tried to, to go there on the dinghy, but uh, it was racing too, too strong for us. You can see right in here, there's actually reversing rapids kind of happen there. So we thought better of it. And maybe next time we'll go there. I don't know what Google Maps does here with this white stuff. I guess it means you can zoom in further. Anyway, there's a, quite a bit of boats rankered in here. Some were in this little cove. Um, up here is called, I think, Mud Bay. It wasn't, it was, it was some guys up there, sort of shallow anchorage. And there's a beach you can kind of swim on. And most people were down in this area here. Right in here is very sheltered. We picked this little notch right here and uh, found a good spot to anchor. You kind of a look here where we were. There we go. So we were just right in here. So I have some footage from there. Uh, we took a swim as well. <laughs> a little bit of footage of that. And also we took the dinghy around and I have some footage of that. So enjoy. Let's get to it. Looks like someone's boat is half sunk. Sito is on the scene. Well, we'd stay and watch, but uh, we got still quite a ways to our next destination. We just came into a place called Squirrel Cove just to check out some anchorage choices in here. Very nice uh, place on Cortez Island. Really popular, especially in the summer with boaters. Good anchorage, sheltered on almost all sides not too deep.
How did that look? Good. Good dive? Yep. There I go. Nesty plunge. Remember that? The what? The nesty plunge. What's that? Where you just fall back in a pool. Oh. They used to call it the nesty plunge. You don't hurt yourself. Well, I'm the life jacket. Don't hurt your head. <sighs> nesty plunge. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does that hurt? No, because of the life jacket. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I don't remember Nesty Plunge. No? No. Oh. <sighs> Rough life. Lazy sailboat. <laughs> it's fun to whoever it was, I can't remember who it was now saying, that guy may be saying that <clears throat> whenever you see a sailboat, they're never sailing. <laughs> that one doesn't sound good. Just give you a 360 of our anchorage here in the inlet. We just came down through there and found this little kind of notch. Tucked ourselves over here. It's not very big, only uh, big enough for a couple of boats here. So it's just been us and another trawler for several days. Across the way there, there's a, a nice little place there, but it can get shallow at low tide and then most of the boats tend to anchor a little bit further down but uh, we've really enjoyed this little spot very peaceful around this time of day it's around 3 34 we've been going swimming actually the water here is running about 70 degrees fahrenheit around 20 celsius so it takes a little bit to get in kind of like a cold lake I just love how green it looks with all the trees reflecting here. It's been a little bit windy on the ocean, but this is a very sheltered anchorage, so it hasn't been too bad at all for us. Anyway, we're going to be moving on soon. Got some more places to explore. Well, that was a really nice anchorage down the inlet there. I think we spent about six days at anchor. There's a couple windy ones, especially late yesterday it blew quite a bit. 
probably about 20, 25 knots. We let out a little bit more anchor line and we were fine for the night. So we're pulling up anchor this morning and heading that back out. Still a little breezy, but it's supposed to calm down today. And we're gonna head up to a place called the Octopus Islands Marine Park, just on the north end of Quadra Island. So stay tuned for that. Till next time, Ray and Ann from Love RV and Boat. Cheers, folks.